Welcome back to the pregame. Time now for our Corridor Drywall Player Profile. Tonight we've got Morgan Hartz, uh, senior captain here for this Bear squad. Mo, uh, great feeling getting back down there and uh, getting that win column that, down at Wilton Friday night. Yeah, well, the team really needed that. You know, we all really felt pumped up and good after that game, and then hopefully carry it, we will carry it in this Friday. Well, offense was really clicking. Almost 500 yards, over 40 points. Uh, all starts up front with you guys at that offensive line. What really was working for you guys to be able to open some of those holes up? Uh, I just know we really did a lot of work after these last past couple weeks and really cleaned up a lot of our stuff, which made it what, 10 times easier for offense. Well, I know that uh, that's one of those things that I've always said. You get five guys working as one, it makes a big difference. What are you guys trying to do to be able to get to that point and clean some of those things up? Yeah, communication is a big key this year. We've we've worked on, we have a really young team, so that really, and especially up front, it all starts up there, and it really helped out. Well, defense set the tone early and often. Uh, got quite a few three and outs, a uh, few turnovers in that first half as well. What's that like being able to say, you know what, our offense didn't get a break because our defense is playing dominantly out there? Yeah, that feels pretty good. You know, we are we are a pretty good defense team, and it, it just feels really good that we're able to punch it in their mouths every time. Well, and just talk about, you know, your opportunities and being able to go in and see different things. And kind of how does the game slow down for you now that you're here as a senior? Um, it really, it really soaks it all in and you really, I don't know. Yeah, it really, it really, it really sets in and just, the kid just kind of hits you, you know? Well, as a senior, leadership, what kinds of things are you doing? Uh, trying to help clean up that offensive line or just, Help this group continue to grow each week. Yeah, uh, we've str we struggle with communication just as a young team, so that really helps. You know, anyone anyone can help with that, so that's a big a big key on making it all work. Well, audible uh, second time in three weeks that uh, we have to make a change during game week, uh, going up to Mac Valley instead of having a home game. What's that like? Uh, saying, you know what, we were planning A, but now we have to play B. Yeah, it, it kind of stinks, but we're a very adaptive, adapt, adaptive team, and we're kind of we've we're used to that stuff. So I think it'll be fine, and we'll take care of it. How about the uh, quick scouting report? Obviously, uh, shorter time knowing who you're playing, but uh, what have you guys seen so far from um, Mac? Yeah, Valley? it's a little it was a little different, but we're getting it done on practice and really getting things looked at. Okay, well, obviously uh, ready to focus on that, but we like to look at some other things that you do with your time. Other clubs, other sports, uh, what else do you do here with your time um, at school? I'm big into wrestling, um, fight club. I won't um, ask. Can't yeah. ask. Um, no, um, FFA, soccer a little bit, track. Okay, so let's break down a couple of those. First, wrestling. Uh, I know um, you've been doing that your whole life. Yeah, I've done that since kindergarten. Um, big part of me, really fun. I've done stuff over the summer that really helped out and hopefully have a good season this year. Do you see uh, some correlation between wrestling and football, you know, vice versa? Yeah, um, wrestling really helps out with quickness for my size, carries into football, and then helps out with that offense and defensive line, and then goes over, you know, a lot of going up against bigger guys for my size on football, and then it really helps me when I go up against my, my, my size guys in wrestling. And then FFA, uh, doing a lot of things. I know that... Uh, um, yeah, things have been a little different this year, obviously, with all the whole pandemic, but we've adjusted and been able to go to certain events, so that's good. I know uh, you guys are getting some livestock around the house. i got to know, who is the pig whisperer, you or the sister? Definitely Maddie. <laughs> Definitely. Good answer. I was yes. worried. She was thinking maybe Tegan would get a nod. But. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, you guys are doing a lot of that and working through uh, this crazy year. Before you know it, it's going to be 2021, and then you're going to be graduated, walking out the door here. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on what the future might hold for you? Um, go to college for fitness and health management and then possibly wrestle in college, but yeah. Okay. I know that uh, you got a lot of time to work on that, figure everything else out. Yep. Focus right now is on Makokota Valley and then the rest of this regular season. So, yep. Morgan, uh, best of luck the rest of your. Thanks very much for joining yep, us. Thank you. That is Morgan Hartz. He is tonight's Corridor Drywall Player Profile. We'll be back with more of the pregame right after this. This is the Bearcast at westbranchfootball.com. <laughs>